happy YouTuber. I don't know if you can tell, but I am. I checked my channel this morning and I have reached a hundred subscribers. Um, thank you, thank you to everybody who has watched, commented, subscribed and liked. Thank you so much. Um, my count is going up and thank you. Just big thank you to everybody and I mean it. I'm sincere about that. It's fun to do um, and I love the comments that you make and I am glad that some of you are inspired because when you do art it helps maybe to have some input and ideas from other people and go, oh yeah, I can do that. Uh, but if you're not anybody who makes things in resin, um, just, I hope I entertain you. So, without further ado, let's get on with today's adventure. This is the tray. It's rose gold, gold and white. And this little oval tray, it, it's fast becoming one of my absolute favourites because you can do so much with it. And this is a four part set, as I say, the tray, a little cylindrical pot, a little hexagonal pot, and if I don't drop the whole lot on the floor, a little heart shaped box. Has a lid. Now if I tip this up, I'll probably all go over the floor, but we will give it a go. Okay. So there's a little set. And I had fun making this. It actually came together very well, and I love the colours. I love how the colours just swirled into each other. So, if you want to come on this rose gold adventure, let's go. Now I like working with these oval trays, they are so adaptable, you can do so many things with them. And I'm making some little pots, I call them accessories, to go with the tray. I'm going to be mixing up pink, gold and white and trying to achieve a sort of a marbled effect. And I chose these colours because I thought that they would go well together once they're all sort of swished around and put in layers. These little measuring cups are, were just bought from the um, supermarket. They're just the little mouthwash cups. And I try to buy the see-through ones when I can so that I can get a better idea of how much resin I'm putting in. And I'm not really a pink person, but this rose gold is really pretty. And now here comes the fun bit.
This is the order that I decided to pour my colours in, but you can pour them in any order that you like. Just whatever makes you happy. The, the object of this is just having fun. And believe me, this is fun, just pouring it in. Do not fill up your moulds just yet. If you're like me and you know that the surface that you're working on is not level, mix your colours up a little bit, do your bubbles and your squeezing and everything, and then move your projects onto your level surface and continue pouring and filling and getting the bubbles out and using heat gun. That way you don't when you move the projects to the curing table that you know is level, you won't get Vesuvius, you won't get resin everywhere. I'm just continuing to get the bubbles out here whilst I've got space to do that. I'm just using one of the little coffee spoons because they're actually quite flexible and remember go underneath that lip of that heart shaped mould and transfer everything to the curing table. Yeah the oval tray is tricky because it's got very flexible sides so that's why I didn't fill it right up. I'll do that when it's level. Otherwise you'll be wearing the resin. And this is why I wear the Tvex suit because I have dropped resin in my lap um, before today and it's not fun. And since I'm allergic to it, yeah, that wasn't pleasant. So you can do your squishing and your heat gun and all the poking around to get those pesky sneaky little bubbles out and honestly the more time that you spend doing these things trying to get as many bubbles out as you can the better your project will be because there's nothing quite like having made the perfect project only to find ugh, it's full of bubbles yeah so the lid as i say pay a lot of attention to this lid in particular the others are fun, you can just squish away to your heart's content. Stress relief. <laughs> Again, with the trusty silicon tool, 
and I use these a lot because they they're good at getting in where the bubbles lurk and they won't scratch the mold and just continue like this continue filling poking squeezing heat gun When you get to the hexagon pot, squeeze like I'm doing. You'll really get the air bubbles out. This, this seemed to work very well. I didn't get any air bubbles in the finished product. Continue filling up and doing your usual heat gun around the edges. And now the bit that I'm not very good at, patiently waiting for everything to cure. Finally, the unmolding, the excitement. I usually do leave my projects for about 24 hours. That makes sure that they have a good curing time. And here we go. As I say, you never really know what you're going to get. So it's always a unique experience. I get very excited. See, I love those colors. They mix together very well and you can see all the colours. And despite all my squeezing and going underneath the lip of this heart shaped lid, I have a bubble just on the very point, but it's underneath. So, and it was just one bubble. So you can't always get them out. Again, I'm, I'm happy with distribution of colours and they go together well. Yeah, perfect. A little heart box, I must say, is, is very versatile because you can use it for Valentine's Day. You could use it if you were going to give someone a nice gift for their birthday or something. So it's a nice little box. I like that little box. Now, this cylindrical mold. Ugh, God, I didn't put it on the film because it was tough. It's a struggle. Once you roll the mold down, that's fine. But then because the cylindrical pot has a little lip on the bottom, trying to get the silicone mold to go over that, ugh, it was a struggle to get it out. I guess you'll find out when you do it. <laughs> Hexagon pot and quite by accident the base of this pot happens to be clear. <laughs> it was just a happy accident but I'm very pleased with the way these all turned out and they didn't come as a set they're all separate molds. One thing I do with my projects and especially this one where you're going to be placing the little pots on the oval tray I just glue a little bit of felt on the bottom it stops things getting scratched and this pyramid at the end was just from leftover pieces of resin I had from another project I made and uh, it was just the one in the middle was clear resin with a little bit of green on top, green that had some glitter in it. This green was used to make the um, dispenser box um, and it had a nice effect. So as I say, you never know, just keep a few little molds by your side and dump your excess resin in. So there we are at the end of our adventure into rose gold. And I really loved it. it, turned out very well. Hope you had good results. And once again, thank you everybody. I'm so excited. Um, I'm glad you're liking the videos and I'm glad you're entertained. I'm, I'm having an absolute blast. I'm having so much fun and sharing it with you guys. And until next time, see you then.